Let's go see what YouTube's saying about the finals. How did one of the most advanced and unique shooters to ever launch fail so fast? Well, I know something about failing. It's a trend to hate on this game, man. It's not that bad. This game isn't gonna die, right? <laughs> the cheating in this game is out of hand. It needs to be fixed. A bon bon, my beautiful little boy, was devastated after his ranked match against the Live Wires. He'll be okay. It will survive. I mean, what? The finals is averaging 15k. There are so many games which have gone even lower than that and still managed to come back. Just look at Unturned. There's also Daisy, Rust, Stardew Valley. Any game can come back. Overall, this is a good game. And the community is actually one of the most eager communities I've ever seen for their game to succeed. They want it to blow up on Twitch, to blow up on YouTube. It just isn't. And it's not all the game's fault. This game has a decent amount of issues, but there are two big issues holding it back from becoming a bigger game. The second one, in my opinion, is the slightly bigger issue, but number one is the cheers. I'm sure you guys have seen the clips, but if you haven't, they were atrocious. My 90-year-old grandma could do a better job at detecting some of the people that were cheating than the anti-cheat could. And I'll give Embark credit, the most recent patch was pretty good. But within a week, all the cheaters have came back. And it's never not going to be an issue. It's always going to be a constant battle. But it's a battle that they need to really focus on. Because if a new player's first impression of the game is some cheater spinning around, shooting the air, and just killing everybody in the map, they're not going to want to play the game. And I'm not a game developer nor a cheat expert, so I can't give you the one solution to solve this problem. But at least community-wise, when I did a poll, most people were fine with the more invasive anti-cheat if it meant less cheaters. Although the second most chosen choice was a better report system, which I understand is hard because you need to hire more people and Embark is a smaller studio. So a better report system, although maybe implementing some sort of AI or something like that, and some honorable mentions would be balancing, the rank system, and just the casual play. And what I mean by that is the base of this game is great, but some of the game modes and the way they work, especially how ranked works, just, it won't work. I'll go over more in my next video, but there is a massive problem with the rank system and also with the casual play that pushes away new players and pushes away people who play this game competitively. And number two is the content. There is no good content being put out for this game right now. And I don't mean by Embark. I'm talking about content from us, the content creators. The only creator I've seen that's put in any effort is OTTR, who actually does events with the communities and does interesting videos. I'm sorry, but your 20 kill game or going off in this ranked lobby, that's not going to help expand this game to any new audiences. They don't care about that because you need to make entertaining, well edited and just creative videos that go past this game's audience else it's never gonna grow. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, I'm not like one of these content creators who's gonna be like, this game's dead. That does nothing but hurt this game. I'm fine with critiquing. It's obviously helpful, but just saying the game is dead does nothing to help it and only hurts it. Because any new person that sees that video, they don't wanna spend their time and put their effort into a game that's dying, which this is not. And honestly, this is what I'm hoping to come in. This is a new channel, yes, but I've had experience in content creation in the past. I know how to bring life to a game. And that's what I hope to do for you guys and for a bigger audience besides those who just like the game. Because how else will it grow? And obviously those issues are not the end all be all. There are more issues that need to be fixed and more that will come up. But I promise you, if the content creation for this game gets better, and if Embark works in that cheater problem, this game will be in a much better state. And I promise you, will soar in player count. This game truly does have so much potential, but potential doesn't mean anything unless Embark puts in the effort to reach it.